Welcome back. The WIM JWP wrestling team is litter, littered with state-ranked talent. Tonight, the Grizzlies host Medford. Brianna Masso starts things off in the 107 class. Masso doing a nice job to avoid getting pinned here, and she holds on long enough to get the decision, putting the Grizzlies on the board first, three to zero. Moving on to 121, it's WIM JWP's Parker James against the number 10 in Class A's 127 class, Luis Lopez. Nice half, Nelson from the Medford Star to secure the pin. Grizzlies down 33 to 15. Gavin Krause in control, only a matter of time before he secures the fall. Thriller this evening between the two Gopher Conference foes, tied up at 33. And it all comes down to two ranked heavyweights, Wim and JWP's number one, Keegan Kubal, up against number eight, Mason DeGroote. Kubal flexing his muscles, circles, and gets the pin. That will do it. The Grizzlies get the win over the Tigers in the end with a final score of 39 to 33. To the ice now, Mayo Clinic Health System Event Center, Minnesota State Men's Hockey hosting Northern Michigan. Mavericks strike first, power play goal from Evan Murr off the faceoff to make it 1-0 late in the first period. Northern Michigan responds in the second. It's a mess in front of the net, but give credit to Jack Purbix for the greasy goal to bring it level. Fast forward to the third, Mavericks trailing. Sam Morton finds Lucas Souter to tie the game up at two midway through the period. This game would head to overtime. In the end, Northern Michigan picks up an extra conference point by winning in the shootout 2-0. These two teams will battle again tomorrow night in the series finale. Now at the Taylor Center, the MSU men's basketball team hosting St. Cloud State. Malik Willingham to Elijah Hayes Camp. He'll pop the three, MSU leading 46-25. Now it's Willingham taking it all the way. Hits the floater for the bucket. MSU up 21 points. St. Cloud State chipping away at MSU's lead with a three-pointer here, but it was all Mavericks from here. Nice look to Dylan Peters in the paint, takes a dribble and puts it away for two. Mavericks lead by 19 with 14 minutes to play. Kyrie Willingham puts it in reverse here for the bucket, and MSU wins this one 88-67. The Mavericks improve, improve to 18-1 on the season. In the first game of the doubleheader against the Huskies, MSU women taking on St. Cloud State. Second quarter, Mavericks holding on to the lead. Emily Russo working in the paint. Nice spin move in score. Later, offensive boards are so key. Natalie Bramer grabs the rebound and cashes in with the putback points. MSU one of the top teams in the nation in steals. Here's another. Joey Bat out there picking pockets. Scores at the other end. She finishes with 10 points. Bramer led the team with 16 as MSU wins 71 to 47 over St. Cloud State. Win streak now at 13 for the Mavericks. They'll play host to MSU Moorhead tomorrow. Indoor track and field action at the Myers Fieldhouse. It's Minnesota State hosting the Mark Shuck Open and Multi. First day of the competition. And the Mavericks put on a show. Let's head to the women's. 300 meter dash, the sprints group is stacked at MSU. Denisha Cartwright, winner of multiple national titles, crosses the finish line first in a time of 38.64 seconds. That's the top time in Division Two. It's also a meet and facility record. Cartwright continuing to add to an already impressive career at MSU. On the men's side of the 300 meter dash, MSU's Thomas Rosengren takes the top spot in a time of 34.72 seconds. That's a PR for the sophomore and puts him in the top 20 nationally. MSU off to a solid start in day one of the Mark Shuck. Open to multi events continue tomorrow. Haley will take a look at some of those highlights. And with 862 votes, the play of the night goes to Mankato East Carson Schwein. Make sure to vote for this week's play of the night after the show tonight. And of course, Carson will be heading to MSU for his collegiate career. Very exciting. Obviously, Mackenzie, uh, older sister, already mm -hmm. with the Mavericks as they are enjoying that little win streak. Exactly. Must love it. The, you know, purple, it's great, great basketball going on tonight. And there will be a ton of more action at MSU. But that will do it for us tonight. We'll see you next time on Sports Extra.